All right, on to task number 13. Uh, we're going to be adding a ceiling to our building. And we're going to go to the ceiling level, the ceiling level of level one. So it looks like we already got one here. I didn't realize one was already here. So I don't know if I can get rid of it. You know, I don't know if I can get rid of it. But oh well, I can't get rid of it. All right, so here's the way that you actually do it. Architecture, ceiling. And you can go to each one of the spaces and then click inside and it'll automatically select the space. So, or you can also outline the building. So I'm going to undo what I did here because I don't need to do that. So I'm going to actually delete that one. And there we go. And then I'm going to go to each one. Now, um, these are set where they have the popcorn looking ceiling. But uh, there's, a, there's a way to change it. So we're going to go here. And we're going to change that to gypsum wall board, which is GWB on metal stud. So we're just going to go to each one of the spaces. Now, the downfall is that you're not going to see any of that. So you just got to kind of trust that it's actually there. And the only way that you know it's going to be there, go to level one, use a camera. And then you can see the ceiling. If you go over to the edge and then touch it, then you can see the ceiling. Now, if you see the roof sloping, then you know that there's no ceiling there. All right, so, and if you shade it, it should be a different color. No, well, in this case, I guess it's gray. All right, so um, that's how you would do your ceiling. Uh, so uh, I think that you actually have to do some lighting in here also. Uh, that might be in one of the other steps. So let's check number 14. Yep, lighting. So number 14, uh, task number 14 is actually adding some lighting to the plan. So we're going to go back to ceiling level number one and we're going to add some lighting. So if you go to systems, electrical, and we're going to light go lighting fixture. And if there's just that there's none loaded and you'll just click on load them load it load family and we'll go to lighting architectural internal for now and we're going to pick uh some lighting so uh it's they're real small the symbols are real small so you have to kind of there's everything in here from ceiling lights to to table lamps and so forth so you have to kind of Make sure that you're picking the right thing. So you may have to put it in there and then go to a camera view and actually look at it to see what it looks like. So the recess lights are actually not a bad pick. Some of them are kind of small. Downfall is that you can't really see what it is that you're putting them on sometimes because they are because they are so small and you don't see the first floor it's a little bit more difficult to see things so it becomes a little cat and mouse game where you have to actually have to kind of play with the with the components a little bit to figure out what it is that you're doing Now, another idea would be is to leave the grid on there first, <clears throat> do all the, do everything for the, do all the lighting, and then change the grid that you have for the last type of ceiling to the GWB on metal stud. 
So I'm gonna go down to level one and take a look inside the kitchen to see how it looks for using a camera. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. And if I put this on realistic, and it didn't show that the lights were on. It only does that on ray trace. And that might take it a little minute. Let's see how it looks. Ray trace, it might actually show up. It takes ray trace a little bit to actually generate. didn't really pick the lights up the way I wanted it to. So we're gonna close that up. So we'll do double R. Mm -hmm. for render. And, and the dialog is not popping up, so we're just gonna go here. Oh it did pop up. Alright, so I'm just gonna render it on medium just to kind of see. So I'm going to do interior, sun and artificial, and just kind of see what it looks like, where the lights actually show that they're on. It'll do it in cloud rendering, but on the computer it's a little bit different, a little bit slower. Oh, yeah, it does show that they're on. It's a little dark though, uh, but if in cloud rendering, it won't be as dark as it is doing it on the computer because it'll actually pick up more lighting from the actual pieces. So you see it even cast shadows and everything. All right, so uh, that is our task number uh, 14 so you're gonna do that pretty much in all of your rooms uh, number 15 we're not gonna do 15 and 16 um, cause uh, we're not gonna spend time putting in switches and outlets and so forth all right so task 17 is poche so poche is to actually take your walls and put a feel inside of them all right so somebody knocked at the door which threw me off Forgot what I was doing. All right, uh, so we were at. Uh, let's see. Oh, adding post shade to the walls. All right, so uh, we're gonna edit the wall, and we're gonna duplicate it, and this one we're gonna call this some wall fill. Wall fill one. And hmm, some of our properties have disappeared. All right. All right. So I feel it's going to be great. It's going to be a solid feel. All right. So this is not going to show up until. You put this on a coarse field. So once it's on a coarse field, you'll see the shading show up for that particular type of wall. So you'll do the same thing on the exterior wall and your and the five inch interior wall. So if you do those three, then that will satisfy number seventeen. Test number seventeen.